So I've gone and bought myself a new front door lock. I went for the Yale SL7100. I like that it's got a big handle. That obviously is just how it's packaged, but it, you can put it sideways. Um, and I like that it's a combination because basically anyone who lives here can't lock themselves out. And anyone who doesn't live here is always locked up. It's sort of the perfect solution. It feels heavy, feels like really good quality. It's got another backing part as well, but just for the video I've got this part. Um, yeah, it feels really good. There's just one big problem. <laughs> and that is, you might not be able to see this, but if I push the handle across, you can see which numbers are the locked, they're the red ones. If I push the handle across, the red ones pull away at the top from the back end. So I slide it up, they all slide up. But then if I put some pressure on it, try and get a bit closer. Put some pressure on it, and the red ones pull away. Slide up, they all slide, but the red ones pull away. And what they're doing when they pull away is they're actually pushing the numbers up on the front. You can't see it, there's a bit of play in the button, but if I hold my finger on it, you can see there's a 9 is the number. So I'll hold my finger on a 9, see if we can see it. Bring it nice and close, see if we can see this. Come on. No, you can't see it, sorry, but it's pushing like a good mill or two up. I can clearly feel it, like it's very easy. Next number, feel nothing. Next one, nothing. Ah, I changed it. I was wondering why I couldn't feel it. Six. I can feel it. So I had it on seven before, <laughs> and I was thinking, hey, I could feel it on before, and I was wondering why I couldn't feel it, because I've actually changed it. I could feel the six instead. Because you can feel whatever whatever combination you set, you can feel it. They just pull away. So, there is no way I'm going to use this on my front door. Let's see. It's focused. See the red ones? They lift up at the top, so it slides. I just keep pushing on it, you can see it bending away basically. I'm not even pushing that hard really. Check out that 9, look how much movement there is in it. Sorry for the bad focus, it's trying to focus on my hand. But look how much it pulls away from the back end. And that's pushing, you can see all of them, all of the red ones. And that's pushing the ball out on the front. And you can clearly feel it. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to have to take this back. There's no way I'm going to put that on my front door. Um, I definitely don't recommend buying one of these. It's just, for security purposes, it is useless. <laughs> um, as soon as I picked that up, I just sort of was playing with it in my hand. I could feel the buttons pushing back on me. I was like, as someone came up to my front door and just sort of thought they might have a crack at it, they would feel that straight away. As soon as you touch it, you can feel the ball pushing on your finger. No way I'm going to use it on my front door. Anyway, I don't advocate breaking into people's houses. I just wanted to show you the flaw with the system um, and just recommend you don't buy one of these. And if you're from Yale and you're watching this, you need to pull this product and design it better because that is a really bad design flaw. Anyway. Like and subscribe, and yeah, I'm gonna get myself a better luck.